let's talk about prefix postfix infix notations okay so what is the motivation behind learning this infix prefix postfix notation of course they are applications of stack here we use stack you know to evaluate these expressions but before that what is that expression what is infix what is prefix what is postfix and one more thing why do we need them i know what is infix right example you have two operands a comma b and an operator star then if i write star in between two operands then we say that we are writing an expression which is infix in infix operator is inserted between the operands now what is prefix is so in prefix we write operator first followed by the corresponding operands okay so my assumption let's say this operators are binary that's why there are two operands now postfix notation is nothing but when you have a star b so we write a b star this is called postfix notation but why do we require these many notations so we are used to a star b right that means infix expression then why to go for star a b a b star i will tell you as a human being i am very much comfortable with these infix notations but when it comes to programming otherwise when it comes to you know uh, evaluation of expressions using the computer then computer is not comfortable with infix notations the reason this infix expression consider this one 2 star 3 plus 4 power 5 to evaluate this expression the machine should understand the priorities it can't do directly like 2 star 3 6 plus 6 plus 4 cap 5 6 plus 4 10 10 cap 5 then 10 cap 5 is 10 followed by four zeros right okay is this the right way no the reason we can't do here addition before power because power has more precedence than addition in mathematics correct that's why so here precedence of operators plays an important role in evaluating the infix expression when you write a program that program should take care of all the precedences right that's why infix uh, prefix and postfix operations are otherwise notations comes into the picture so in prefix and postfix notations what happens is we write the operator such a way that you know precedences are automatically fixed they will be you know written in an order of the precedence that's why so simply i can say when you have a postfix expression then you don't require to consider the priorities because they are already taken care okay so that's why people generally prefer prefix and postfix while writing the expressions there are applications so as a human being you know i write infix expression but when it comes to computers like example let's say your compiler your compiler is going to evaluate your program right when you write a c program then compiler is going to convert into machine level at that time so this infix expressions will be converted to probably prefix or postfix so that you know calculation or you know evaluation will be easy okay so before going to much details first we try to understand how to convert an expression to in uh, prefix and postfix let me begin with prefix then after that i will show you postfix remember these rules first rule is whenever you want to convert one operator like example this is operator whenever you want to convert this operator star to prefix simply write star ab that means for this infix expression prefix expression is star ab so whenever you want to convert star now example you have two expressions e1 and e2 whatever uh, big they are in between them you have again an operator and condition is you want to convert this operator into you know prefix then simply write star e1 e2 that's it if you remember this then you can convert any big expression to prefix one more important rule is if you have only one symbol like this and if someone asks you to convert this to prefix then rule is very simple answer is that symbol itself when you have simple one operand and its corresponding prefix is a okay let's remember that using these three rules i am going to convert now one very big expression to prefix let me take this one 2 plus 3 star 4 okay there are two operators plus and star how to convert this expression to prefix rule number one First of all, we have to identify the priority of, of the operators and we have to identify the highest precedence one here plus and star out of them which one is having higher precedence in mathematics star right then first target this operator and we have to convert that to prefix okay then it will become 2 plus 
So 3 star 4 will become star 3 4. Whenever one expression, I mean some sub part of the expression is converted to prefix, then you treat it as an operand because the result, if you see, example if I compute it, 3 star 4 is 12. 12 is going to be an operand of plus right. That's why this entire, because we are not evaluating now. So that's why what you do is take 3 star 4 as operand. That's why this entire part is for me operand. It is going to be an operand for this addition, right? Now, again, problem is reduced to you have two operands. One is 2, one is this one, star 3, 4. And you have only one operator. Then simply convert that operator to prefix. That will become plus and operand number 1, 2. Operand 2 is star 3, 4. That's it. So this is a prefix expression. Now, by this time, you should get the idea what is prefix conversion. Simple. In infix expression, identify all the operators and based on the priorities from the highest precedence to lowest precedence, we have to convert the uh, every operator into prefix. That's it. That's why first of all, I have converted star to prefix. Then I have converted plus to prefix. That's it. So you know that when you have expression 1, expression 2 and plus in between, then E1 plus E2 is nothing but plus E1, E2, isn't it? That's it.